Yo, welcome back. This is Rocky Rootin, aka Old Timers Gaming. Hope everybody's doing great and having a good day slash night, whatever it is for you. Let's get to talking to this fella right here. Don't you know how many much more mission. Old friends. I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know. Should it come to blow, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Now we're gonna go protect this dude. I think. Not really sure what's gonna happen, really. But stay tuned to the end. You never know what might happen. Because I know we might Before get we somebody. Tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family, even. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. I'm gonna follow him, so I don't know where we're going, so. Come on, grab it. So what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditional. Wilf only loves what he owns. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? I have a feeling. Not really sure. I wish you'd just mark on the map we're going so I wouldn't have to follow him. I can go straight. Because I can outrun this dude right here. All I have to do is this right here. And I could run like the wind. But. Hey look, what is the deer when it caught across the road? He got scared and ran to the other side, get it? <laughs> oh, that was pretty stupid, but it was funny though. house there they're likely within it won't look like much Eivor but don't be fooled and don't take Wilf lightly charming as he seems the man is a serpent I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes I know I know only a warning let's go inside My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message, and you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, 
shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of blouted, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. I'm gonna fight that dude in there. He's got a mouth on him. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to Will. Oh, that we have your goods. Beautiful. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. Wait, no. Tarvin, are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Abel. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthman. Hadn't heard it in years. Wretches up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me. Took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. That is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. Something tells me we ain't done with that dude yet. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarvin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. 
Right. The ledger. Toss it. And purge the past. With pleasure. your time. Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good child. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be, but we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunner, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget. I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the brother of future and heen. And the mount of scrying a foresight, paratoiv, tear and I'd well dem. Such poetry. Let his head for an evangelist, Trevoid and beyond. I offer you this ring. And take yours in kind. I will wear it. With pride and honor, warmed by the love. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration of. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. With our couple now bonded. <laughs> Volka, I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My additions have lessened of late, and I. Well, I. Find it. That is good to hear, Abel. What do you think of all this? It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So, yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Little dull in my view. I think it was nice. Richard, I give you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to see ma. Hope you now want to wash in the case me so that years. Yes, of course. I, uh, as I say, it is wonderful to have you. Gunnar, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Alvis, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. 
Another time, I think. The only way to find out what to do is to act. How are the marriage customs in your country, Hytham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. You've been among us for quite some time, Redder. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer. Always searching. Never... <clears throat> Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see Grant Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one after everything. A few days of... I do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. And V. You and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more, something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that? I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? <laughs> Come, we should go. That's funny. If she can understand what that person said, then... Eivor, did Basim contact you in Norway? He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. I think this will be hard to hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together. I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd, he loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. Godum is dead. Nameless and alone across the open sea. The master of the order hewn from the trunk of their dying tree. You are getting closer to the roots. Hytham, I have the codex pages you asked for. Six in total. Ah, wonderful. We have so little writing from the original hidden ones. This will grow our understanding immeasurably. These documents may have been inked by the founders of the Hidden Ones, in fact. But their names are unknown to us. Lost to history. A deliberate choice on their part, I think. I'm hoping these documents shed some light on that mystery. I could not say. They're written in a language I do not understand. You know, the black market merchant Reda has an old piece of writing from the same era as the Codex pages you found. 
Speak with him if you are curious to see it. Good to see you. Really? Hi, from Oh, that old scrap? Yes, it's just a short letter from one hidden one to another. One of my rarest artifacts. How did it find its way to you? A friend gave it to me for safekeeping. Bayek was his name. Egyptian fellow. Very kind. Haven't seen him in a long time. A very long time. Anyway, the letter is written in Demotic, so it may not mean much to you. But you're free to have a look. happen what I guess I can't do that yet I don't know How long do I have to wait for this?
Okay, cool. I just had to keep running. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, man, what did the game do? Glitch freeze? Hope everybody's doing great and having a good day and still staying with us. What just happened? Oh, I was getting where I'm at now. I should go. Here's Mouse. A warning, my beloved. I have heard numerous tales now of a secret codex circulating among the acolytes of our bureaus, both within and be Regions I haven't even went to. Four locations, people. What does that mean? That's a really good spear. The two-handed spear. Works in Kent. Where's Kent? Can be anywhere in here? What else did it say about him? Rakes a girl, wears black clothing. Survey the area, Sudan. Who <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me look and see the other ones. Grantshire. Radiant Alley in Hemshire. Did it say him? Didn't it say him, Shire? In the farm? Double checking. Him alley, worth it. Because you killed one of the orders, it was really funny. Right now, I'm trying to find the uh, that codex one.
to close myself. Nominate Patris! Minibus quasister gano budit ascabra curus. Focus, we have this. Huh? Oh, ah. There's an arrow in the 
dog. Let me oh. Flank the idiot. <laughs> Press hard. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mundus es satis raro sedate sin indiens vestigia fessi de paradiso voluptatis ut stimulum calcitrare. Incomprehensible ludas qui erat. There we go. We found a new location. family just my family i love them more than anything and the families who fell by the order's command were they not worthy of love you are a dane how can you speak of the value of a life all our rank is less than the axe to you not true i see honor in many people many places you have proved here that your compassion has a hard and brutal limit. Pick the coward off! Oh. Over here! Oh. Got an intruder, man! I 
anybody else. Dick yet? Ooh, mark target. I'm gonna teleport real quick. I think we're gonna try to uh, find out the. Uh, them tomorrow. I am gonna go ahead and jump so I have to stand up there. But anyways, this is where we'll come to an end for a day, guys. Hope everybody's doing great and having a good day slash night, whatever it is for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the bell. You don't want to miss out on good daily content. And I appreciate everyone of you. Peace out.